It has a beauty to it that is beyond discussion, at least to reasonable people. It conveys in a very strong way that it's Christ himself who is acting and making present for us his sacrifice on Calvary. There's a, a strong sense in the extraordinary form of the Mass of the transcendent. In other words, uh, that heaven is meeting earth in, in these uh, treasured moments of the, of the offering of the Eucharistic sacrifice. I find in my own celebration of the extraordinary form in public masses that many of the faithful who are participating never knew the mass before and they're simply attracted to it for for its beauty. It's, it's not, uh, in the past sometimes people said, well, it's just these old timers who are holding on to an outdated form of the mass and they won't give it up and they need to get with the times and so forth. Uh, this clearly is not the case. There are a number of elderly people too, older people even like myself who are attracted to the Mass. And by that I don't mean to say that I reject the ordinary form of the Mass, not at all, or the Missal of Pope Paul VI. But as Pope Benedict XVI has pointed out to us, why does accepting the, the ordinary form of the Mass mean that you have to reject uh, the Mass from which it developed? There was an immediate tie-in with the, the synagogue with the prayers at the foot of the altar. These were the, the, the psalms recited by the high priest as he would enter into the sanctuary. And so there was, uh, and of course, uh, our, our faith is, uh, is the fulfillment of, of, the, of the faith of the people of God uh, from uh, the time of the Old Covenant. The prayers at the offertory uh, are, are, are very rich in the, in, the, in the 1962 Roman Missal. Those have been very much stripped down and actually changed in character in the Missal of Pope Paul VI. There was also a, a strong sense of our sinfulness and of the, of the redemptive nature of the Holy Mass and influenced, I believe, uh, by the times in which uh, the reform was made, a lot of the language having to do with asking God's forgiveness and so forth uh, was removed. The reform that was done, the reform of the rites, went beyond and in some senses perhaps not completely coherently with what the, the, the Council Fathers had set forth and we, we need to to go back and to not negate everything that happened. And it, it's not that everything that happened after the council was bad and wrong, but we need to uh, correct the things that the abuses that entered in and so forth. I have the hope that some of those elements, for instance, that were taken away, may be reincorporated again so that the, it will be more evident the organic unity of the two forms of the same right. <laughs>